In this video, we're going to have a look at how keyless cars are stolen through relay theft and OBD port key reprogramming and how we can easily protect our cars from being stolen. This is going to be an information packed video, so make sure you don't miss it and you know how to protect your keyless car. Keyless Entry, a technology designed to make our lives easier. Get in and start your vehicle, all without taking the key out of your pocket. But what happens when criminals find a way of exploiting this? Okay, well we can have a look at that now. In this video, we can see what's known as a relay theft, where they amplify the vehicle signal to make the key, the car, think the key is next to it and allow the car to be opened and started. But there is also a second type of theft which is done through the OBD port which we're going to look at a second and then we're going to look at how we can secure our cars against these types of thefts. So this is a onboard diagnostic socket and this is in every modern vehicle. This allows the thieves to plug into the vehicle's computer and reprogram a blank key to the car. This can be done within just a few seconds all they need is a blank key and a special device which they plug into the onboard diagnostic socket of the vehicle. Upon plugging this in, they can program a key within just a few seconds. This will be done after relay theft, so they've stolen the key, stolen the car without the keys and they need to program a key to the car, or they will steal your car with this method and just program a key to the vehicle while it's parked on your drive. Both of these are very easy to stop. So we're going to have a look in a second at different ways to protect our vehicle against both of these types of thefts. There are multiple ways of doing this and most of the things are readily available and some of them you'll even have laying around your house. So we'll have a look at that in just a second. So here's a, another OBD key reprogramming. This is a Toyota Aris and again they do this just within a few seconds by plugging the device in. They hold the blank key up against the start button and then within a few seconds they're able to start the car. So as you can see this is just a easy way to steal a car when it's keyless as the relay theft. But as I said, these are both easily avoided and we're going to look at those now. So in this video, we see an attempted theft, but they don't manage to take the vehicle. This is what we want to happen. If they even break into our car at all, we want to be able to stop them from driving the vehicle off or being able to program a new key to the car. So we're going to look at ways of doing this now. And then afterwards, we're going to look at some other ways of securing our car with some of the other great kit on the market. So there's a few things you'll have around your house that you can use straight away to protect your car. Let's have a look at those now. So you may have already seen some of these used on the internet. This is tin foil, um, a tin can and a crisp packet. You can put your car key in any of these and it won't transmit a signal. So it can't be amplified so they can't open your car, get in it and start it. And good old tin foil is something that we all have and we can use straight away. Now let's have a look at a key pouch. I'll show you a quick video about a key defender pouch and how it works. Have the car key in your car. Car starts with the key out of the bag. Turn the car off. Put the key in the pouch, close the pouch up, can't see the key. These little bags are about £5 each and they can stop your car from being stolen so I would highly recommend you buy one of these if you have a car with keyless 
Here's a stolen and crushed Focus RS, and this is what we're trying to prevent. Here is a small stylish version of the pouch and the tin foil. This is a nice little RFID blocking box. It means you can have it on the side in your hallway, put your keys in there out of the way, and your car can't receive the signal. Okay, so this is my this is my own Ford Focus, and I've set this so even though it's keyless, once it's locked, the vehicle will not open unless you use the buttons. So that's one way of stopping the keyless entry theft. And then I'm going to show you just how easy it is to relocate your OBD port. So on all vehicles, the OBD port has to be easily accessible. On this Focus, it's just here. See, this is just clipped in. So all we're going to do with this one, I'll show you just how easy this is. You can either cable tie this back right down here out of the way. Uh, this one's got a bit on the short side. Sometimes they're quite a bit longer than this. You can see up here there's just a metal bracket. What you can do is you can put it up, up there, put a couple of cable ties around it. And that's what I'm going to do, and uh, secure it up out of the way. So there are a few other options out there to protect your OBD port. This is a nice, cheap, easy thing that anybody can fit. This is a dummy OBD port. So you'd plug your original OBD port into the right-hand side, put the left-hand side into where your original port goes, and they cannot access your vehicle's onboard computer with this lead, so therefore protecting your car. The other thing we have we can use is a OBD extension loom. So you'd connect your OBD port into one end, cable tie it up out of the way, and then relocate the other end so it's still easy to access for servicing, but hidden from the thieves so they can't access it. Then you have things like this, which is a mechanical security lock, which actually goes over your OBD port and has a key to unlock it. And then you have this device, which is a OBD protector, which is actually a wired in device which you'd have to have special cards for to be able to access so you'd give those for when it goes in for service ideal for things like Range Rovers and uh, higher end vehicles like that so that's another thing you can do so here we're nearly finished and we're just going to have a look now and see how just using a couple of cable ties can really just help to secure your OBD port and there you can see that's the OBD port cable tied securely up out of the way it doesn't matter how much you try you cannot get that out because it's got two cable ties securing it in place so that stops anyone from being able to plug anything into there and you just clip the trim back up and nobody would ever know so far we've looked at how to protect your OBD port and the various different methods for that how to protect your radio frequency ID key fob and the different ways, some of the cheaper ways and more expensive ways you can protect your key fob from giving out its radio frequency so the car can be started. And in a minute, I'm going to show you another thing called a ghost immobilizer. This is an amazing piece of kit and it really does stop anyone from stealing your car. Now here we have a auto watch ghost immobilizer system this i think is one of the best items on the market for protecting your vehicle from theft if it's keyless or not i still think this is a great uh, investment to put onto your vehicle even if they have the vehicle keys they cannot start the car they need to know a sequence of button presses to push before your vehicle will allow um, starting so that may be volume up on the steering wheel and then rear screen heater and then start button and then the vehicle will start. You can set your preference of button presses when you have the kit installed. And as you can see here, even with these people stealing the vehicle keys, they cannot get the vehicle to start. So that's why I think the Ghost Immobilizer is probably one of the best immobilization kits on the market for a keyless car. With this, with a RFID pouch, I don't think that they'd even be able to get into the car 
and then the car would definitely not be stolen. Now, don't forget about some of the good old fashioned security. Things like your steering wheel disc locks. If you can't turn the steering wheel, you can't steal the car. We've already looked at the RFID pouches. And here's a steering lock or pedal lock and a, another steering wheel lock. These things are relatively cheap. A little bit annoying to put on and off every time you want to get in and out of the vehicle, but they certainly will secure your vehicle from theft. As you can see here, the key pouches are only eight pounds. A steering wheel lock is 24 pounds 50. These are very cheap items and a great way to secure your car. Along with a RFID key pouch and a steering lock, your car is not going to get stolen and they're just going to move down the road and try and steal somebody else's. Now, thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. I hope your car does not get stolen and you've learned something today of how to protect your new keyless vehicle from theft. If you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments and I'll happily answer them. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Eric.